Good afternoon, good morning, good evening, wherever you are in the world, everyone. Melderon here. We have another blue post by KVAX Community Manager over at Blizzard. Let's see what they have to say on this one. Spell batching in Classic is the title. Since we first announced World of Warcraft Classic, we've seen questions about spell batching. While we never really eliminated spell batching in WoW, we did change how and how often we process batches of actions coming from players. So you're less likely to notice that processing in today's game. We've been working to ensure that in WoW Classic, the gameplay of activating spells and effects will not differ from the experience of playing original WoW. This is great news. If you don't know what spell batching is, basically you, your character, and all characters around you ping the server or send information at some interval. Back in the day, you could potentially you know, charge each other or polymorph each other because the interval between data being transferred was slower than it is in today's game. So in today's game, it's really, I think it's almost impossible for you to both polymorph each other. But in Classic WoW, it was possible. So let's keep reading. It was relatively common in the original game to see a warrior pummel a mage who timed simultaneously and successfully polymorph the warrior. So I just what I just said, the mage suffered pummel damage, but no spell school lock because the mage didn't get interrupted. This could seem paradoxical, but it could happen because the pummel and polymorph were both in the same batch and were both valid actions at the start of the, of the batch. For the most part, things like that don't happen in Modern WoW, but they still can. We've made improvements to batch frequency, and the game is much more responsive than it used to be. Still, if you manage to get a pummel and a polymorph into a tiny processing window in Modern WoW, you'll experience the same behavior as Original Classic. I'm assuming that window is very, very small now, guys. As with many other areas of WoW Classic, authenticity is our primary concern. I hope they... Let's keep bringing that, guys. Authenticity is our primary concern. Is, does that go for um, sharding? Something we have to think about, right? So let's just keep this conversation going. It used to be in the norm that combat flow and PvP balance were defined and tuned in a game where spell messages were resolved less frequently. There was a single game loop that processed all messages sent and received every server tick. Nowadays, the game processes multiple loops for messages of differing priorities. Spellcasts are high priority and have been for a long time. For WoW Classic, we're moving spellcasts to a low priority loop that will cause them to be processed at the frequency that best fits how the game actually played in version 1.12. Two mages will be able to polymorph each other somewhat reliably, resulting in two sheep nervously pacing around at range. Two warriors will be able to charge one another, and the end result will be both warriors standing stunned in each other's original location. We think it'll be fun to see these sorts of things happening again. Excellent, excellent news. I know the PvP, PvPers out there are really happy about this because this is how vanilla PvP was and how it, in my opinion, should be. Let's play the game we want, guys. Let's not play a game that is an alterated version of the greatest game ever made. I hope this post made you happy. Let me know in the comments if it did or it didn't. And stay tuned for more. Keep on keybinding and grinding, everyone.